That's all from us. The Tea Time Bulletin is at 6.30. Now on BBC One, it's time for the news where you are. Hello, good afternoon. Two men have been injured, one critically after being stabbed in Manchester city centre. The police were called to a fight between two groups earlier this morning, as Naomi Cornwell reports. Deansgate, one of the busiest streets in Manchester, was cordoned off today as forensics officers look for evidence of the violent fight that happened here at 4.30 this morning. Police believe fighting had broken out between two groups outside the press club behind me, during which the two men were stabbed. When officers arrived, the groups had dispersed, but police believe there are a number of witnesses to what happened here. One man aged 29 was taken to hospital with stab wounds to the abdomen. He remains in a critical condition. The other man, aged 26, is being treated for a serious stab wound to the arm. Police say, given the time and location, it's likely that a large number of people were in the area, perhaps going home after a night out. They want to hear from anyone who saw either group of men. Naomi Cornwell, BBC Northwest Today in Manchester. The death of a woman in Failsworth isn't being treated as suspicious. The police were called to a house late on Saturday evening on Alden Road and spoke to a 42-year-old woman before arresting a 57-year-old man. He's now been released on bail. The woman was later found dead at the property. Greater Manchester Police say a post-mortem examination found there were no suspicious circumstances surrounding her death. The mountain road on the Isle of Man has been closed after two accidents this morning. It comes as police on the island release a road safety video. 24 people have been killed on the island's roads over the last five years, with hundreds more people seriously injured. Kelly Foran has been speaking to one family who've lost loved ones on the road. My son. My partner. My daddy. Leon has grown up never knowing his dad. He was just 11 months old when David Manley crashed his car and died. Um. I just think David's missed out on so much and Leon is missing out on his daddy. Don't let me go. It was further down this road where David lost control of his vehicle and died. He was just 28 years old. Police posted this photo of the vehicle on social media to show the effects of a crash, but his family say the damage caused was much worse than to just the car. The police wrote that this is the true extent of an RTC, and I thought, well, no, it's not. It's the families, it's the friends you know, that, that they've left it behind. So that's the message they want to get across. When you go for that overtaking manoeuvre or you go for that particular stretch of road, just think, have a little think first as to who you're going to leave behind because you know, the, the family have to live with it. The video is going to be shown in the island schools, at cinema and at sea terminals in England and Ireland. Kelly Foran, BBC Northwest Today, The Isle of Man. The cooperative group has begun a major relaunch of its convenience stores and funeral homes business after coming close to collapse three years ago. It's decided to bring back its iconic 1960s logo at every one of its 2,700 shops. First to get it are at the Coop's birthplace in Rochdale. The facelift is part of a £1.3 billion investment to breathe fresh life into the 172-year-old organisation. This is about reconnecting with our members. We recognise that the point was right to make the change with our logo, but also what that logo stood for, what it stands for in 70,000 colleagues, and really get back to connecting with those communities. The annual Whip Walk has taken place through Manchester city centre this morning. A procession with banners and brass bands walked from the city's cathedral to Albert Square for a special service. Other Whip Walks have also been taking place across the region. The first in Manchester were held more than 200 years ago. It is a celebration of Whitsun, which is the, the season in the church's year 
when we celebrate God's gift of the Holy Spirit and the birth of the church. Filled with joy, as you can see, people dress up, children dress up all cheerfully, and the Lord Mayor is here, the Mayor of Salford is here. It's one great big jamboree. The Northwest has a new world boxing champion today after Tony Bellew knocked out Ilunga Makubu in the third round last night. The WBC World Cruiserweight bout was watched by 20,000 fans at Everton's ground last night. Great news. Congratulations. In cricket now, Lancashire won the toss and elected to bowl against Yorkshire on day two of their Roses County Championship match at Headingley. Earlier, Yorkshire finished 308 all out in their first innings and a short time ago, Lancashire were 68 for three and at lunch, Lancashire trail Yorkshire by 240 runs with seven wickets remaining. Now let's check on the bank holiday weather today. Here's Charlie Slater. Good afternoon to you. Looks like we're in for a decent afternoon as well for a bank holiday Monday. Plenty of blue sky, plenty of sunshine around, particularly the further west you are. That's why you're running to the most of the sunshine, although the further east more likely to bump into a little bit of cloud. But cloud possible for all areas this afternoon, but that cloud thinned and breaking nicely to allow for plenty of sunshine temperatures. Late teens, early 20s, that sort of thing. So lovely for this bank holiday Monday. And then overnight and into the early hours of Tuesday morning, it's a case of clear sky for a time. The temperatures falling away to around 10, 11, 12 degrees at Celsius. Little a bit of a breeze starting to kick in for the daytime on Tuesday. Some sunshine around as you make your way through the morning, but starting to cloud over a little bit into the afternoon. And where that cloud is thick enough, there might be the odd spot of drizzle. Speaking of drizzle, there's some rain around as you go through the daytime on Wednesday, but thankfully a little bit better again by Thursday. Not too bad, is it? Might try and sneak in a barbecue this afternoon. That's it for now. Graham Live is here at 6.30 tonight with Northwest Tonight. Until then, make the most of that great bank holiday weather and have a great afternoon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Good afternoon. I hope you're managing to have a pleasant bank holiday Monday. For those of you holidaying out to the west, you sure are. This was Cornwall just an hour ago. Not a cloud in the sky. West is best. In